Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Davor Getzi. In previous videos I have shown you how you can uh, download and install the virtual forms framework that we need to show our virtual forms and also how you can download and install the Microsoft report builder that we need to build or, or to create our reports. In this video I will show you and explain why you should use Excel blank template for your data. When we have uh, downloaded uh, the Virtual Forms framework and extracted, we got this Excel blank template folder. You can simply copy it so that we have uh, this copy and I will rename it, for example, my report. In this folder, we have two files. Excel blank template. This is an Excel workbook and we have also this VF file 1.vf file. We can rename uh, our workbook, for example, my report. I strongly recommend you that you don't use a long file names because the database engine doesn't like long file names. So be short with file names. Let's open this uh, Excel workbook. As you can see in this Excel workbook, we only have one Excel worksheet. And you ask yourself, why should I use this workbook? And the answer is because in the back there is a lot of going on. And if you don't want to code, if you don't want to write VBA code to open and to use uh, your reports, simply use this uh, Excel workbook. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you click on the developer, go to the Visual Basic and go to the forms, you can see that here is a lot of code already uh, written by us for you, so that you don't need to write any VBA code. I will now pause this video and I will copy some data into this workbook. Ok, now we have some data in our uh, workbook. For example, this company, products, text groups. If you want to follow with me or if you want this data, this data is also included in the Virtual Forms framework. You can simply go to the sample data and this is uh, the workbook that I'm using, sample data orders 2020. This is the workbook that I have copied the data into uh, my report workbook. What is crucial when we are preparing our data? You should have uh, on each worksheet only one table, one Excel table. For example, these products, I have only one table with products. This is a Excel table. You can see this if you click somewhere in the table that it is having design and that it is also having a table tools. If your data is not in the table, you can simply convert your data into a table by clicking somewhere on the, uh, the data and pressing the control and T. And this should convert your data into table. This is it for this video. In next video, we will start with creating and saving a black paginated Excel report in Microsoft Report Builder.